Sunshine is on the way, but you will have to get through some rain, Mary Kay. Right, we are going to bring some rain in. Everyone keeps asking me, what happened to our week? We started with summer, and now it is officially fall, or it feels that way, because of the position of the jet stream. Now we're on the cool side of it, and that air mass is here to stay for a while. So we're dry and quiet tonight, but showers move in for your Saturday. High temperatures on Saturday should probably reach the mid-60s, so that's slightly cooler than normal. We should be in the upper 60s. Right now it's 54 degrees at O'Hare. Winds are out of the east northeast at seven all day. We had winds off the lake and that generated those lake enhanced clouds and even the sprinkles of rain. But we're going to see the winds turn around and come more southerly as we go through the night. 54 degrees at the lakefront. It's 51 in McHenry. But look what's happening here. Ottawa, DeKalb and Kankakee all at 49. It's 46 in Rensselaer and 49 in Valparaiso. Cool air keeps plunging south. This blocking ridge of high pressure is on the way out, allowing the next system to develop take shape. This front is going to be moving in for your Saturday. It will affect your day, especially in the afternoon. So let's time it out. As we go through tonight, we're fine, but in the morning, look to the west. The clouds start gathering. We'll be at about 50 degrees at 7 a.m., but by 2 in the afternoon, we're going to be watching our far western suburbs because that rain starts getting closer. So I would say as we get closer to dinner time and sunset, it'll be moving through the city, moving through northwest Indiana, and then tapering off at 10 o'clock. So really, after 2 p.m., right through 10 o'clock. That's going to be our time frame for this front to come through. There will be a line of showers and maybe some embedded thunderstorms just ahead of that boundary as it moves in. You can see that happening at 2 in the afternoon for the Quad Cities and starting to reach closer through Rockford and maybe even into McHenry County at that time. And then the front sort of loses a lot of its identity here, so it's scattered activity as we get into that 10 o'clock hour. And then finally, the system will push to the east of us. Now, as that happens on Sunday, low pressures to the north of it and as winds come around this in a counterclockwise position, that's what's going to pull the west wind into the picture for us. So that west wind is a drying wind and it's going to be building for the next couple of days starting next week with a lot of clearing. So I think on Sunday we start that transition of a day because we'll start with some sunshine, end up with those scattered clouds around and then a strong ridge of high pressure that'll be over the plains on Sunday. That will be ours early next week. So rainfall estimates look like this. Probably the heaviest rain is going to be in Iowa and also in Wisconsin and into Minnesota where we could see those one to three inch totals closer to home easily less than an inch of rain. I'm thinking a quarter inch, maybe some spots getting to a half inch, but I think it's more so for a quarter inch and it's mainly for our northwest suburbs here. So for tomorrow, let's plan the day with extra clouds building those shower chances developing, especially as we get into dinner time and sunset temperatures in the 60s. Quick peek I have to show you for the London kickoff on Sunday for the Bears about 57 degrees degrees with the chance of light rain around. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, we're going to be clearing out Sunday. Look at Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. High pressure is going to park right overhead. Still a touch below average. Overnight lows will be cool in the 40s, but it'll be a beautiful trend of weather. So for your weekend, it looks like we start dry tomorrow morning and then build the shower chances later in the afternoon. So if you have to get out and about, Jim, early, do it in the morning. We will do